angels, spirits, and guides do help me to clarify the hermit energy along with the nine of swords for Cantor's person of the past. Is, are they coming back? Are they looking to come back around? What are they doing? Are they sad? Nine of Swords. What is the Hermit energy in the Nine of Swords? Angels, birds, guides. Cancer's past person. Seeking, coming back. What is the Nine of Swords in the reverse? Oh, okay. It feels like it feels like this fire there's a fire energy. Your person may be connected with this person romantically. But they bear something heavy with them, a sadness, a depression. They may look up to this person in a way, maybe because this person kinda towers over them and kinda controls them. And may just tell them what to do and they probably have to do it for some reason like reason. Like this person may hold something over your person's head. They know how to pull your person's strings. And that's fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person could be dealing in magic as well. <laughs> okay. What is the Ace of Pentacles? What is the Hermit? Okay, so something about finances. It could be maybe your person is a bit financially imbalanced right now. Your past person, Cancer. Something about money. Are not feeling valuable enough. Are not feeling good. Or never have felt good. It's like they kind of worship this person to some extent. Like this person has their balls in their hands to squeeze. That's the energy I'm getting really. It's like very submissive. They're very submissive to this energy queen of wands. And they, it's like they have some traumas or some, something like that from the past that they take with them. I feel like when they have their needs to be met, they go to this person here. They seek them out. This could be like dominatrix energy. I don't know why. The way how this is set up here. Like this person has a need and it's sad. It's a craving, a desire, like an addiction. I probably have a... This person probably has a sexual addiction or some attachment to this queen here. Does the hermit... What is the relationship between the hermit and the queen of wands? I feel like I'm just not... Clear up this energy, please. Which is this? Maybe I'm not supposed to really dive to... Oh my god, I literally said it. Maybe I'm not supposed to dive too deep into this. I literally said it in my mind. And that's the card that flipped. That's Because I'm feeling like there's so much tension here. Maybe I'm not supposed to really dive deep too deeply into this. Maybe you don't want to know all the sauce. Dive too deeply. Maybe it's something that went on in either your past or your person's childhood. And it keeps them attached to this nature clingy. They're kind of clingy to... I feel like this person thinks of it's like they're they're a bit they are a bit um they are a bit caught up they caught they're caught up between two two energies like so I feel like this person maybe want to come back around to you cancer like in their energy sometimes they think of making the effort or efforting something with you to make some kind of an offer toward you. But they they I don't feel like they're strong enough to give up whatever this is that they bear. Give me some messages for Cancer's person. Past person. What is the Hermit card? What is the Hermit energy, Angel Spirit and Guides? What is this person up to? What's going on? The world. Justice. Oh my God. I'm leaving this reading here. I don't feel like venturing into this place. I feel... I just feel like your person has a lot to deal with on their end. They're dealing with a lot. They have to be focusing on what they have going on in their life, you know. And this is their karma, you know. Whatever they're getting burnt, probably this person is abused. I don't know. It just feels like some submissive energy going on over here. And that 
had possibly has nothing to do with me but this person is still holding cancer in their <laughs> this person is still holding cancer in their um their vibration for some reason as if a part of this person sometimes long for your love and your affection and your honesty your beauty your truth but they're so they have some addiction I just feel like some scar from childhood that they have to really attend to or feed or nurture or give into. So they're they're not they're I don't feel like this this person could be old an older person. I don't feel like this person will let go of the situation anytime soon. They're making the decision to to be where they are. They may w think they want to come back to you, and if they do come back to you, they will be off balance. It will be like you running into a, a drug addict, and I mean like a, a crackhead or something. That's how it will feel like they won't be stable. They won't be mentally, spiritually, or emotionally stable. I mean, I don't care about this energy. It's just on. It's just that's how. Just just so you know where in your their vibration they hold you. It's because they they do love you. They do care about you, but they have to. They have to be around this person here. What is the Queen of Wands? Let's see what that is. Oh my fuck. Look, the Queen of Wands, the King of Wands, the Six of Wands, the Devil and the Moon. <laughs> There's too much. I'm telling I'm just being told like I don't want I don't want to know what's going on here. And if I do, why would I want to know? Maybe you'd want to know because this person may escape or come around to see you because that's how they are even though they're still connected or attached to this devilish energy here and they have a lot of secrets here with this person that's the queen of wands the queen of wands has some secret or tire magic spell like the queen of wands controls this person's energy this is magic this is like dark energy here with the moon and the devil my god and it could be two people too that's controlling your person Two people that don't care about your person, honestly. They don't care. And these people could be in a relationship. We have the king and queen of wands. But both of them are not really committed to one another. So they do maybe invite other pleasures into their life. I don't know. Like this person is seeking some validation or some fulfillment from these people. Maybe this person is your person's karmic energy. Their, their karma okay and maybe they may while they were dealing with you they still had their karma around right their your ex or something and they did they, they did not let go of this person and so you moved you you this so when they met you i feel like they loved you for some way in some way shape or form and they think of you with the six of cups energy here cancer justice is here to just say let people go their way and just let people be who they are go their merry way any last messages for cancer relating to cancer's person cancer's person relating to cancer so cancer i feel focused on your dream and manifesting what you want into your world there is a there's a separation between the two of you now between your ex and you or this is your current person that you want to have an ending with cancer the energy is saying the justice is here. It's up to you to really detach from this energy and really focus on your dream. I feel like the energy of you feeling like your person is within your energy is clearing out because the justice is here. This person, there can be a, a, sh a, 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 a oh, oh my God, oh my God, a separation between the two of your energy. So if you were somehow intertwined with this person, connected some energetic ties with this person i feel like just this energy with the sword and the balance here it is saying to me that you have been unchained from this person because i do feel like this person has gone back to their past their past past person to continue whatever they were involved with, with them some devilish ties and they may have tried to take some of these attitudes and behaviors to you and so if you cancer and we're going through mental trauma and all these things and feeling locked down and blocked and all these things, it's because of your person's connection and what they are, they're used to doing in their past with this devilish energy here. Justice is telling me that 
the you you have unentwined intertwined you have unraveled the energies that have unraveled you're free to go cancer you are free to go look at you the empress you're very intuitive you're so beautiful loving and you're very abundant your person is literally under spell <laughs> the judgment energy i feel like justice and the universe and everything is saying just leave this person be look they're saying just don't fool around with this devilish energy capricorn virgo taurus anymore just step out just step away from any conflicting situations that's not good for you i feel like the universe is keeping this person at bay away from you it could be like you different you took out a protection order so this person is unable to connect with you and so little by little your energy is separating that's what i have for you thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video much love and appreciation for all of the likes shares subscribes on my channel thank you so much for helping me grow and i hope that you um enjoy these messages i love you i love doing readings for you i'm wondering if i'm leaving anything out okay and i think that's it much love always to you take care bye